Hi there, I'm Anton and in this mini tutorial I want to show you how to get from this picture to this photo animation. To achieve this I used my photo animator, an After Effects add-on which is available on VideoHive and linked in the description. So this picture contains an object, we need to separate it from the background first. You can also mask it within the photo animator project, but since this is a still picture, the best way to do this is in Photoshop. After you have isolated the object, you also need to heal the background. Most of the time you get a great result with one click on the content aware fill, but you can do it with the stamp tool as well. So when you're done uh, isolating the object, you need to import the object and the background into the photo animated project. And like before, the background goes into the put source composition, you scale it and place it how you like it. Then you open the set mask composition and uh, mask the background. For this example, that would be something like this. And when you're done with it, you go to the animation composition, click on the controls layer, just like before, activate the visual help mode and spread the layers evenly over the picture. Okay. Um, then we need to place the object, the lamp, on uh, the correct layer. In this case, this is layer number three. You just drag it in here. We scale it the same amount as the main picture was scaled and place it right on the layer. Now the setup is already done and we could use the animation presets, but this time we want to animate the camera ourselves. So I set the, the workspace to four seconds and I start moving the camera into the picture. I create keyframes. So now it looks like this. So I want the camera to start high and end low. So um, we have these nice light ray effects. So what I'm doing is I create keyframes for the red and blue crosshair. With the red crosshair, I can move mainly the foreground, and with blue crosshair, I move mainly the background. You can see here that some artifacts might emerge, but with the magic layer connection, they are erased again. But since the magic layer connection needs some computing power, I'd suggest to only activate it for rendering. Now I want to give more depth to the animation. I will use some smoke from the included objects. So just like we placed the lamp on layer number three, I will now place one layer of smoke on layer number one and just place it that it looks nice. Something like this might work. Then there's layer number three, but I want to place it on layer number four. And I add another layer of smoke. I want more smoke on the right side, so I uh, mirror this layer, move it a bit so I just get the effect I want. Let's have a look. Okay, we got a lot of smoke, very thick and white. But since this is a very warm picture and th it is warm light, the smoke should have a different color. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tint uh, these smoke layers orange. I, and I will copy this effect and put it on the, another, on the other smoke layer as well. I will also reduce the opacity of the two layers so it's not as thick as it was before. So have a look again and yeah, I like this. I think that works pretty well. Okay, let's go to the light composition. Like before, I'm going to select this layer and draw a mask around the area which the light rays should emerge from something like this. Since in this example uh, the light moves, the lamp moves, so I also need to animate the mask path. So I set keyframes for the mask path and uh, now the area is always on the lamp. So the next thing we do is to put the point of the light source. Uh, we also create keyframes for this. First I wanted to start here and at the end of the animation I want it to be right here so the camera moves down so it will come into vision and give these light, nice light rays. We are also going to change the light to orange to match the picture and we can have a closer look on the light rays and the light source to see if everything is exactly as we want it. I think this looks pretty nice. 
Let's have a look at everything together. I think this is a pretty nice animation. I hope you enjoyed watching these mini tutorials and if you have any questions please feel free to contact me through my profile page. Okay, thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye bye!